what's up guys Mark here from VIP shop management this tutorial is about deposit I changed something because I've seen there's a lot of um, like uh, it's it's becoming a problem uh, taking a deposit and before you create an estimate that wasn't allowed I just changed that where you can create take a deposit even if the estimate is empty let's check it out real quick um, select a customer and let's select this car and assume uh, let's say it's even zero zero and uh, let's say I want to take a deposit uh, for this customer because this happens a lot believe it or not uh, sometimes the customers just want to give you a deposit and says you know what I'll come back later there's a trust usually between you and the customer uh, that's the only time they have otherwise the customer really wants a full estimate before they but if this happened you can do that let's click on authorize authorize so you gotta make an invoice and just click on pay invoice and you can say let's say you want to you want to leave a one thousand dollar deposit cash pay and if you look at the bottom let's let's look at so we can see the payment one thousand dollar cash and let's just print preview see what we're looking at here so you can give him an empty invoice with a payment uh, with uh, like a receipt saying that he made a payment for a thousand dollars which is pretty cool and after that you can build the invoice the way you want it and let's assume usually it's not gonna happen let's assume that um, you know he did not like let's say you know there is a negative uh, balance let's say you know there's a negative 295 just click authorize just click pay invoice so you can do a negative it's kind of some type of refund and say cash pay and if we look so his total is seven hundred and four dollars and four cents we look at the payments he made the first payment for a thousand dollar we gave him back a negative two hundred ninety five and ninety six cents so you can do that so which is pretty cool um another thing assume that another scenario i want to talk about assume that you took a deposit from somebody oh, I'm sorry zero zero assume you took a deposit from somebody for like a hundred dollars but that and uh, let's say a hundred dollars we took a deposit cash and a credit card doesn't matter I'm just using cash in this case and let's say you were building the invoice and a customer changed his mind he said I don't want to do it never mind I want my deposit back what do you do in this situation are really simple just delete all the items and so it's going to take you back to this page and just click on pay invoice and refund this money and just it so it's going to be zero zero if we print it out and we can see it's an empty invoice um, he he gave you a hundred bucks you gave him a hundred bucks back and it's all good so that's really important I saw that because busy shops there is they don't have time sometimes to build the invoice and the customer trust them he has five hundred dollars he has a thousand dollar that way you can do it um, better than the fourth generation because some people who were used to the fourth generation were able to do that this is even better because it keeps track anyway I appreciate you guys until next time thanks for watching